Welcome back guys. Today I will be doing an unboxing video of my latest purchase. I haven't dropped any hints this entire last week on the blog. And it's been very hard to do that. As you'll see why. In just a minute here. Uh, this is my first order from Diecast Select. reason I got it from the Cat Select is because they had the best price out there and uh, because uh, they're going out of business right now. A lot of their models are deeply discounted as well as having free shipping. So it gave me a great chance to get this. CMC Ferrari 250 GT Berlinetto Paso Court to short wheelbase from uh, Petizione from the 1961 Le Mans. If that's not a mouthful of a name, I don't know what is. But let's get opening. Inspected by diecast like for quality insurance purposes. A little business car. And then a little booklet with different languages and uh, well, looks like German English with a little bit of a description as to the car and its provenance. But without much more ado. Microfiber cloth. Some more silicon packets. Here's the box. This is weird as it may say, may sound. Uh, it's actually seemed like high quality styrofoam. There's a little thing, serial number 3930 out of 7000. And then the car itself. certainly has a lot of weight to it. Actually, 
actually going to take this off because I'm afraid it'll snag at some point. Truly beautiful in peace. Interestingly enough, it does have pegs in the headlights. <laughs> However, they're not too noticeable. They look almost like headlight bulbs. It is a quote unquote older CMC. It's not too old, but. It's not one of their newer releases. There you go. Look at the detail on that. I mean, it looks like a real wheel. Like, I have some giant sized hand that I'm holding a real wheel. Interesting, it's only got the one heat shield. I mean, all the shut lines and stuff are spectacular. It's real cloth and real leather on the seats. It's just a whole nother level of detail. As I said, I got this at a uh, deeply discounted rate, uh, $199 shipped, which is really just a fantastic deal for any CMC, but let alone beautiful Ferrari. Uh, it's not too hard to find CMC out of the classic Grand Prix slash F1 cars. Look at that. It's just beautiful detail. Not too hard to find the classic Grand Prix or F1 cars for under 200, but to have a road car or something based on a road car like this for that price is, is difficult. Um, generally, you'd be looking at used, secondhand, maybe something broken or missing or nothing major, maybe like a windshield wiper or something like that. There's the opening fuel door. I do have to say, I really like how everything opens and closes. I mean, it looks... It, it just feels very well built. It doesn't like feel very fragile. Like, looking at it the wrong way will break something. It is fragile. But not necessarily as fragile as it may appear. The paint is simply stunning.
the blue stripe is perfectly on center, at least to my eye. everything opens and works as it should. It's really hard to get in pictures. Well, in, in the camera. The level of detail that the engine has. It's really second to none in my collection. And look at those wheels, they're quite stunning. Then they've got the knockoffs in the center. Once you spin, because they're basically just a little screw. And then you can see the detail on the brakes, brake lines, all that kind of stuff. It's truly impressive. I'm going to pause it for just a second so then I can get rid of this little tag. I couldn't quite get it off. I'll, I'll try it more in a minute. There you can see some fabulous details on the interior. Like I said, it's very hard to capture everything on this model, but it just seems very well built. Very high quality. And I'd say pretty much unbeatable for $200, basically. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned till next time. And have a great day.